on using Apple devices to make, sell, and serve your food. I would love to start with a glass of white wine. What do you recommend? When you ask about the wine list of one, two, three Bolinas in Fairfax, don't be surprised when the waitress whips out an iPad. The Gruner Gottliner is really delicious. Oh, I have that. Perfect. I'll be right back. And she really will be, because bar manager Catherine Maharchin probably started pouring that glass of wine before the waitress even left the table. By the time they make a round around the floor, their first round of drinks is up and ready. There's no waiting at all. Sending orders back to the kitchen over Wi-Fi. These iPads don't talk to a central computer system. They are the computer system. Even the bar's main cash register is an iPad. It's really simple to use. It's durable. Uh, it just it makes a lot of sense for us. Touch screens are nothing new in restaurants, but durable and easy to use. Well, the developers of this iPad point-of-sale system say that's something different. The only system system, you can have someone up in front for five minutes, they can take an order, ready to go. And now, San Francisco-based Rebel Systems is taking the next step, building a supermarket check stand entirely around an iPad. <laughs> We've had a couple supermarkets bugging us for about a year now to, like, put the system out for them, and we kind of said, no, 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 <laughs> and now we just started to say, okay, fine, let's do it. It's smaller and it's cheaper, but it's definitely not a toy. The scales and scanners are the same ones stores already use, but the big computer is gone. This actually shows the people what they're buying. Yes, that's an iPod Touch, and yes, you can sign it with your finger, just like you may have already done in countless street vendors and lunch trucks that sell food using Apple devices. In fact, it turns out iDevices aren't just being used to sell you your food, they're being used to make it, like here at the Cho Chocolate Factory, where big devices like this have been replaced by little devices.